Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Brixie, and today I'm going to share with you how I made over 1 million gil with a level 1 sword. And I know that sounds crazy, uh, this is not a joke, this is 100% like a legitimate way to farm gil. And for this I'm using Winders because 1. I'm using Winders for my daily gil points for cooking, and 2. I feel like the monsters are closest to the zone here in Winders. So you see there, I got a Beastman Sill. And as soon as I see a Beastman Seal, I'm going to immediately zone into Winders and zone back out. And what that's going to do is it's going to reset the timer on a Beastman Seal drop. Um, per zone, you get one Beastman Seal every five minutes, and they will not drop until that five minute timer is up. However, if you zone and come back in, that timer is null and void. It does not count anymore. So basically, the idea here is to farm Beastman Seals. And this is good for a couple of things. One, uh, I'm getting my jobs up to level 10 which is good that's like party level that's when I can start jumping into content with other people and party and stuff like that so um, not only am I making money with beastman sills I am also leveling jobs like as a side thing that's like like that's not the main goal and honestly it's kind of sad when I hit level 10 because then I actually have to go and get beastman sills at like harder locations so 1 through 10 is really good here and typically 1 through 10 I get anywhere from like 45 to 60 beastman sills just depending on RNG and like how good or bad the drops are for the given day so pretty good 1 through 10 you can make like 300k from doing amphibian assault that's a pretty good deal and this is not just for amphibian assault this can be for under observation this can be for the fly one for the emperor's hairpin there's a whole bunch of options out there for farming money I just choose to use Amphibian Assault because um, the consistent like 300k per run. You can occasionally get duds with Water Ores or Dark Orbs that's under 300k, but you can also get the like Lightning Ores which are like 380 to 400k on average. So 300k sounds pretty good for like an hour or two's work for me. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm getting sub jobs and stuff at the same time, so it's like a win-win. And then once you get enough seals, go and get your orb and do whichever b Sandum version you want to do. Like I said, for me, I like to do Amphibian Assault because I'm working on my HQ staffs. And I'll just show you a little example of the fight here. I'm not going to show you the full thing because it's like a 5 minute fight, give or take, depending on your setup. And yeah, basically just farm your orbs, go do your b Sandum, set up the groups. Uh, all these fights are pretty easy. Amphibian Assault is probably one of the easier BCNMs in the game currently, so like I said, it's really good for money. It's very consistent, and it's by far one of my favorite things to do. Um, the only downside to Amphibian Assault is actually repeating the fights, because you have to run all the way through the temple, and it's like a big pain in the butt. But, other than that, no problem at all. Easily one of my favorite fights to do. And yeah, so this is how I've been making money. This is how I've been supporting playing Ninja. And working on HQ staff, I've actually put Ninja on hold. Uh, I got it up to level 52, and honestly, I just I don't want to play Ninja until I have all my HQ staffs because I've been doing the Elemental Will, kind of like the caster version of Ninja. So Ninja is currently on hold until I get all my HQ staffs done. Um, I've currently, I think I'm probably gonna buy the HQ Fire Staff next. Um, Water is pretty easy. That one's only like 400k, so that one might be the next one after Fire. Um, just because it's on the cheaper side and just to get too knocked out of the way But yeah, I just thought I would share this method for you guys. It's really easy to make money um, Go unlock jobs get them to level 10 get a bunch of beastman seals make some money and I'll catch you guys next video Thank you guys for watching you guys are awesome. Feel free to like comment subscribe all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye